Now I can say with absolute certainty, if you do what I laid out in this video, step by step, ChatGPT is gonna transform into one of your favorite things to use. It's gonna help you come up with so many new ideas. How to find the game-changing secret ChatGPT setting. This is the same process I've used to help thousands of people leverage ChatGPT in their book. Worried about ChatGPT sounding too robotic and generic? Let's fix it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform ChatGPT into the world's greatest personal assistant so you don't have to waste your time constantly revising and editing everything that it comes up with. I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process. This is the same process I've used to help thousands of people leverage ChatGPT in their business. And because I know your time is super valuable, I included timestamps down below. So here's what we're covering for today. First, how to find a game-changing secret ChatGPT setting. Second, how to transform ChatGPT into your best friend. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you one of the newest ChatGPT features that's making ChatGPT scarily good. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, when you first log into ChatGPT, it's going to look a little something like this. Now, if you never used ChatGPT before, or if you logged in one time and completely forgot about it, I actually created a full walkthrough where I show you step by step how to create your free account and navigate all the settings, and all that stuff. So if you want to see that video, I'm going to link it down below in the description. Make sure to watch it after this one. But with that being said, when you log in, if you go on this top right hand corner, you click on your little profile icon. Boom, you're going to see something that says customize ChatGPT. Now, what I used to do back last year when I first started using ChatGPT is every time I would start a new conversation, I had to constantly tell ChatGPT about my business, who I am, and what I was trying to do so that ChatGPT could remember. And every time I started a new conversation, I'd have to start that from scratch. And so ChatGPT came out with this feature called Custom Instructions last year, where all you have to do is train ChatGPT one time, and then that saves every time you start a new conversation. So now instead of ChatGPT acting like a complete stranger every time you start a new conversation, it already has context as to who you are, what you do with your business. And now they recently changed the name from Custom Instructions to Customize ChatGPT. So if you've been looking for it in the past and you haven't been able to find it, it's because it went, underwent a name change. So right here where it says Custom ChatGPT or Customize ChatGPT, click on that and it'll look a little something like this. Now you have two boxes. The first box, which is up top, it says, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? This is what we're going to be filling in today. And the second box down below, it says, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? I normally don't really fill this out all that much. It's not that much. Like, it's not that important. But if you're very nitpicky and you're looking for ChatGPT to write in a certain like style, a certain like a level of professionalism, you could use this. We're not really going to cover this one today. We're going to focus on the top box. There's also 1,500 characters that you could use. It's not 1,500 words. It's 1,500 characters. So you don't have too many words that you can use. You have a decent amount to work with. And that's going to come in, uh, come into play later. But what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to step number two and talk about how to transform ChatGPT into your best friend. But it's not going to matter if you don't do this step here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this prompt that I just put into ChatGPT. You're going to copy it and then paste it in your ChatGPT. And so I already wrote out the prompt for you. You don't have to make any tweaks, any adjustments. I'm actually going to include it down below. I'll put it in the description. That way, if you don't want to take a screenshot and write it out word for word, you can just copy and paste. It's going to be down below in the description. But here's what it says. I want you to act as a stranger who knows nothing about me. Let's have a casual yet insightful conversation. The goal of this conversation is for you to get a deep understanding of me and my business. I'd like you to ask me a series of 10 questions focusing on my life and business. These questions should be clear and thought provoking, delving into who I am, what drives me, my core values, my life's purpose, and the finer details of my business, who I help, how do I do it, and what makes my approach unique. Keep the tone light and friendly and encouraging a natural flow of dialogue. Blend in questions about my personal interests and passions, and let's also touch on any notable challenges or success stories from my business. The goal is to paint a comprehensive picture of my personal and professional world in a way that's engaging, relatable, and true to myself. Please ask these questions one at a time. Do you understand? If so, please provide the first question so we can get started. This problem is a bit of a mouthful, but once you do that, you're going to hit enter, and assuming ChatGPT understood you properly, it's going to provide you with the first questions. Now, what you're going to do and what I'm not going to do is you're going to go through these questions one by one. I suggest you time block about 30 minutes or so, maybe max an hour. The more in depth you go with ChatGPT, the better the responses it'll be able to give you. And so instead of trying to shortcut it, I would recommend at least blocking off 30 minutes, an hour max. You probably shouldn't need any more time than that to get ChatGPT 
to go through these questions with you and provide it some context. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer some of these questions and then I'm gonna cut back to when I'm done and we're gonna pick back up. All right, now I'm four questions in and I honestly don't feel like going through this whole thing because I've already done this multiple times um, for myself. I'm just gonna tell ChatGPT that we're done here. Hit send, boom. Now ChatGPT said, all right, if you ever need to continue the conversation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now that we're done with this conversation, the next step is we're gonna copy and paste this right here. Now, please summarize everything I've told you in 1500 characters or less. Write the summary in bullet point format. Now we're gonna hit enter and then boom, ChatGPT is gonna come up with a summary for me. If I had to provide ChatGPT with more information, this would be a lot more specific, a lot more personalized. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this here. We're gonna go to our profile where it says customize ChatGPT and then we're gonna paste this up here. Now, if it's not allowing you to paste, it's most likely because where it says enable for new chats, this is turned off. Once you turn that on, you'll be able to paste. And as you can see, mine only has 670 characters because I took a shortcut. Now, once you're done with your whole 10 questions and assuming you provided ChatGPT some actual context, this will be full. And if it needs to be shortened, you can always have ChatGPT shorten it. So boom, now we're gonna click on save and now you're done. Now, every time you start a new conversation with ChatGPT, it's gonna know who you are, your name, your business, you know, what makes you unique in the market, the people you're trying to help, your target audience, and so much more. And now, every time you, try, you use ChatGPT, you no longer have to train it. You may have to do it every now and then and give it a little bit extra information. For the most part, it understands you and knows how to provide more personalized responses for whatever you need. Now, that's not the only thing that ChatGPT can do now because recently in 2024, they came up with another new feature that most people actually don't know it exists. So what we're gonna do here is when you go to your profile, if you click on the settings and then go to where it says personalization, there's a new feature called memory, which may or may not be turned on for you already, but if it isn't, make sure to turn it on. So ChatGPT says here, ChatGPT will become more helpful as you chat, picking up on details and preferences to tailor its responses to you. To understand what ChatGPT remembers or teaches something new, just chat with it and say things like, remember that I like concise responses. I just got a puppy. What do you remember about me? Where did we leave off on my last project? And so now, if you hit manage, I don't have anything here. But if I said in chat GPT, I want you to remember that my business is called Stop and Stare Media. Type that in, and as you can see, boom, memory updated. And so now my business is called Stop and Stare Media. If I go back to where it says manage memories, now it's here. Now, if I wanted to forget this, I can either hit clear chat GPT's memory or I can hit forget right here and click on this little trash can icon. And so boom. And as you use chat GPT more and more, this will become bigger and bigger. And so it'll have more information as to who you are, which is why I always say, Share with caution. Don't go out sharing information that you wouldn't share to a friend or someone that you trust, right? Because all of this information goes back into ChatGPT, if I'm not mistaken, to help train it. So if you're not comfortable sharing certain stuff, then don't share it. No one's telling you to share your whole life details. Share what's applicable and re relevant to your business. You don't want to share anything more than that. By all means, you don't have to. In order to make ChatGPT useful, you just got to give it some context as to who you are and what your business does, and the rest is up to you. Now, I can say with absolute certainty, if you do what I laid out in this video, step by step, ChatGPT is going to transform into one of your favorite things to use. It's going to help you come up with so many new ideas, help you with so many different aspects to your business, whether it's event planning, coming up with scripts for your videos, coming up for a uh, copy for your landing page. It's going to help you be able to help you with so many different things, save you so much time, energy, and money. But one thing I can't forget to mention is that I kind of skipped through a decent portion of like logging in and creating your ChatGPT account. So if you're watching this and you still like never even use ChatGPT or AI in your business yet, I actually created a step-by-step -step walkthrough showing you how to create your free ChatGPT account and how to navigate all the different settings and buttons that it has. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to click right here. Or if you already watched it, YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next. Now, if you made it to the end of the video, Thank you. Make sure to hit that like button if you found it valuable so I can keep on bringing you the best 
AI and marketing and social media tips week in and week out. Also, as a free gift for making it to the end of the video, I want to give you my free AI starter kit, which has my top 10 chat GPT prompts and my top five different AI tools that I'm currently using in my business to save me time, energy, and money. That'll be in the link in the description and in the pinned comments. And if you're struggling with your social media marketing or your content creation process and you want to make it easier, want to make it more streamlined, more efficient, more effective, uh, click the link in the description to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. And I'll see you guys in the next week's video.